we are going to discuss one of the important topic from Davya Guna. That is introduction to Nighantu Vijnana. What is Nighantu? According to Anupama New, the lexicographical collections of Vedic work were called Nighantavaha, which means to determine the meaning of text. According to Yaska, the Nighantu is a collection of rare or difficult words gathered by earlier sages for easier understanding of Vedic text. According to Hemachandra, Nighantu is a collection of knowns. Importance of Nighantu Glossary containing synonymous groups, the name of drugs, plants, animals, minerals or anything that are administered either as food or medicine to the human body. Nighantu na vina vaidyo vidvan vyakaranam vin anabhyasena dhanushkatrayo hasyasya bhajanam that is, the physician entering into practice without any knowledge on Nighantus is similar to a pandit without knowledge on grammar and a warrior without weapon. Chronological arrangements of Nighantus There are three periods. They are ancient period, medieval period and modern period. Ancient period is up to 7th century. Medieval period is from 8th to 15th century and modern period from 16th century. Now we are going to discuss about Dhanvantari Nikhantu, Raja Nikhantu and Bhavamishra Nikhantu in detail. First we will discuss about Dhanvantari Nikhantu. The author of Dhanvantari Nikhantu is Dhanvantari. His father's name is Krishna Bhaugik. The original name of book is Dravyavali Samuchaya. But the latest name of the book is Dhanvantari Nikhantu. The period of Dhanvantari Nikhantu is 10th to 13th century. Dhanvantari Nikhantu contains 7 vargas. The seven vargas are Guruchyadi Varga, Satpushpadi Varga, Chandanadi Varga, Karaviradi Varga, Amradi Varga, Suvarnadi Varga and Mishrakadi Varga. Let's see the total number of drugs present in each Varga and number of Ganas also. Guruchyadi Varga contains 90 drugs along with 11 Ganas. Satpushpadi Varga contains 43 drugs along with 2 Ganas. Chandanadi Varga contains 70 drugs along with 3 Ganas. Karaviradi Varga contains 60 drugs with 4 Ganas. Amradi Varga contains 65 drugs with 3 Ganas. Suvarnadi Varga contains 130 drugs along with 10 Ganas. And the last Varga that is Mishrakadi Varga contains 69 drugs along with 2 Ganas. So total in 7 Vargas there are 527 drugs along with 35 Ganas. Let's see some of the merits in Dhanvantari Nikhantu. The merits are, both Charka and Shushruta have mentioned only one drug under many Ganas or Vargas. But in this text, he described one drug under one Gana only. While grouping the drugs under different Ganas, Dhanvantari Nighantu followed a new and unique procedure which was not there earlier. That is, the drugs are named on the basis of first drug under that Varga. Then each Varga is divided into different Ganas basing upon pharmacological properties. Synonyms and properties are described in an order for each and every drug. The author described some extra drugs as in the end of each Varga. They are actually not mentioned in original Vargas. Though the author is inspired by Charaka and Shushruta, he maintained his speciality. Let me give one example. Dadima is mentioned under Phala Varga. But in this text, Dadima is not mentioned under Amradi Phala Varga. In fact, it is mentioned in Satpushpadi Varga. And this is the specialty of Dhanvantari Nikhantu. Let's discuss about these seven vargas in detail. Guruchyadi Varga Plants combating different diseases. For example, Guruchi, Shati, Shalapani, Jivaka, etc. Shatapushpadi Varga Herbs used as stomatic digestive, etc. For example, Satapushpa, Ela, Nagakeshara, etc. Chandanadi Varga Plants in this Varga contain volatile oils and minerals. For example, Chandana, Tuta, etc. Karaviradi Varga The herbs in this Varga are used in skin, creamy, visha and hemorrhoids. For example, Karavira, Rasona, Sindura, Ikshu etc. Amradi Varga plants are used for their fruits, flowers, creepers and barks. For example, Amra, Bhavya, Kadamba, Arjuna, Jati etc. Swarnadi Varga Both herbal, mineral and animal sources which are used for different diseases are described under this. For example, gold, tin, mercury, masura, godhuma, etc. And the last that is Mishrakali Varga. Drugs with miscellaneous properties will be there. For example, Aushadi Gana and Vishya Gana. Now we are going to discuss about Bhava Mishra Nikhantu. 
The author of Bhava Mishra Nighandu is Bhava Mishra. Bhava Mishra father's name is Radhakana Mishra. Original name of this book is Haritya Kyadiv Nighandu. It belongs to 16th century. It is a part of Bhava Prakasha Samhita, which is one of the Lagutrais. The Nighandu part consists of 23 vargas totally. They are Haritya Kadi Varga, Karpura Di Varga, Guruchya Di Varga, Pushpa Varga, Pata Di Varga, Amra Di Varga, Dhatva Di Varga, Dhanya Varga, Dhakha Varga, Mamsa Varga, Kritanna Varga, Vari Varga, Dudga Varga, Dadi Varga, Takra Varga, Namnita Varga, Krita Varga, Motra Varga, Taila Varga, Sandhana Varga, Madhu Varga, Ikshu Varga and Anekartha Nama Varga. This whole book is divided into three divisions. Those three divisions are Purva Khanda, Madhyama Khanda and Uttara Khanda. Let's talk about each Khanda in detail. Purva Khanda contains six parts. They are Ayurveda Avatarana, Srishti Prakarana, Garbha Prakarana, Bala Prakarana, Dina Rutacharya Prakarana and Mishraka Prakarana. In Madhyama Khanda, diseases are described in four parts. Those four parts are Prathama Bhaga means first part. It contains diseases from Jwara to Grahni. Dvitiya Bhaga means second part. It contains Arshas to Vata Rakta. Tritya Bhaga that is the third part. It contains Shula to Bhagna. Chaturtha Bhaga means fourth part. It contains Nari Vrana to Balarogas. There are total 71 chapters in Madhyama Khanda. Let's come into Uttara Khanda. It is the last Khanda. Rasayana and Vajikarana are delineated in this Khanda. Looking on the contribution of Bhavamshra to Dravya Guna, integration of Hindu and Muslim culture will be visible. Hence names like Ahifena, Amrita Phala, Jaya Phala, etc. Some new drugs have been introduced to Bhavamshra. They are Parashika Vacha, Dvipantara Vacha, Akara Karbha, Pudina, Daru Haridra, Markandika, Sovira, etc. Some of the drugs with specific importance for the description and identity. Pushkara Mula as Kushta variety or substitute. Svannakshiri root as Choka. Two types of Karpura will be there. They are Pakwa and Apakwa. There are three types of Kasturi. They are Kamarupi, Naipali and Kashmiri. Three types of Kunkuma are Kashmiri, Bahlika and Parashika. Two types of Tagara are Tagara and Pinda Tagara. Ashpantaka as the synonym of Kanchanara. There are three types of Karanja. Those three are Naktamala, Uti Karanja and Karanji. Madana Phala Kukuradru is described as Kurundara. Chavika Phalam is considered as Gajapipali. Detailed description of Astavargas is available in this text. Newly, Chaturpijas are described here. There are five types of Svarnas and three types of Rajata in this text. Yashana is mentioned for the first time in this text. Though a list of substitutes were mentioned for various drugs, it is advised not to substitute the main ingredient of any compound preparation. He appears to follow Rajanigantu for the classification of plant kingdom. The divisions are Vanaspati, Vanaspatya, Kshupa, Valli and Aushari. Different part used are described along with suitable examples. Definitions of Deepana, Pajana, etc. Karmas are provided similar to Sharangadara. The Dravya constituents are claimed to be five. They are Rasaguna, Vidya, Vipaka and Prabhava. Now the detailed explanation of Rajanigantu. The author of Rajanigantu is Narahari Pandita and his father's name is Ishwara Pandita. The original name of Rajanigantu is Abhidana Chudamani. Latest name of this book is Rajanigantu. It belongs to 14th century. For the first time, Narahari gave first place to Dravyaguna among Astangas of Ayurveda. And he also introduced many new plants. In Rajanigantu, there are 23 Vargas. Those 23 Vargas are Anupadi Varga, Bhumyadi Varga, Guruchyadi Varga, Chitavadi Varga, Parpattadi Varga, Pippalyadi Varga, Mulakadi Varga, Shalmalyadi Varga, Prabhadradi Varga, Karaviradi Varga, Amradi Varga, Chandanadi Varga, Suvarnadi Varga, Paniyadi Varga, Kshiradi Varga, Kshalyadi Varga. Mamsa Varga, Manushyadi Varga, Simhadi Varga, Rogadi Varga, Stalvadi Varga, Mishrakadi Varga and Ekarthadi Varga. Among all these 23 Vargas, only 10 Vargas that is from 3rd Varga to 12th Varga allotted for vegetable drugs. That is 780 herbs excluding 74 drugs of Suvarnadi Varga. And the remaining 13 Vargas deals with general aspects and diet. Some writers place this text even later to Prakasha, basing upon the following points. Those points are Pita Karavira is described in this text but missing in Prakasha. Karpura Taila, Taila Pippalika, 
Krishna Bija, Surakshara, etc. described in Rajnikantu are not found in Bhava Prakasha. Kulanjan is described in Rajnikantu, but it was called as Mahabhari Vacha in Bhava Prakasha. Rajnikantu mentioned about Jhandu, which is not there in Bhava Prakasha. Therefore, Rajnikantu is placed in and around 17th century. Now let's discuss the 10 Vargas which belongs to vegetable drugs. And the first one is Guruchyadi Varga. It is also known as Valli Varga. In Guruchyadi Varga, creepers or climbers are present and it basically deals with Guruchi to Palasi which contains total 52 drugs. Chatahavadi Varga. In Chatahavadi Varga, small shrubs are present. For example, Chatahava, Chakramarda, Apamarga, Kashamarda, etc. And it contains total 80 drugs. Palpatadi Varga. In this Varga, only herbs are present. For example, Palpati, Jivaka, Rishabhaka, Brahmi, Kulatha, etc. Total 60 drugs are present in Palpati Varga. Pippalyadi Varga. Products of economic value are described in it as Pancha Aushadas. For example, Hingu, Ela, Shunti, Maricha, etc. So, total 95 drugs will be there in Pippalyadi Varga. Mulakadi or Shakha Varga. In this Varga, only vegetables are present. For example, roots, tubers, leaves and fruits. So total 104 drugs are present in this Varga. Shalmalyadi Varga Trees and grasses growing in forest areas are present in this Varga. It mainly deals with Shalmali to Hijala. So total 72 drugs will be there in Shalmalyadi Varga. Prabhadadi Varga or Riksha Varga It mostly contains wild trees. For example, Agnimantha, Kutaja, Karanja, Burja, etc. So total in this Varga, 65 drugs will be present. Karaviradi Varga or Uttamsha Varga. In this Varga, mainly flowering plants will be present. For example, Jasmine, Lotus, etc. So total in this Varga, 86 drugs will be present. Amradi Varga. Mostly fruits are described in this Varga. So total number of drugs in this Varga are 109. And the last Varga, that is Chandranadi Varga. This is a class of aromatic plants. So totally, 57 drugs will be present in this Chandanadi Varga. Rajanikantu divided the plants basically into four groups. Those four groups are Vanaspati, Vanaspatya, Shupa or Valli and Aushadhi. Some of the important drugs according to Rajanikantu, they are Langli, Somavalli, Amrita Shrava, Dhumrapatra, Rudanti, Hastishundi, Dudgafeni, Jhandu, Kulanjan, Arashkara, etc. So here are some most important questions from this chapter. Those important questions are Write importance of Nighantu in Dravyaguna Shastra. Write the Nirukti of Nighantu and explain Bhava Prakasha Nighantu. What is the importance of Raja Nighantu and explain it? Write a brief note on Dhanvantri Nighantu and state the role of Nighantu in the history of Dravyaguna Shastra. Write a brief note on Bhava Prakasha Nighantu and its utility. Write in short about Dhanvantri Nighantu and its historical background. Give a brief introduction to Raja Nighantu and its importance. So here we completed the most important topic from Dravyaguna Shastra. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment sections below. I want to thank all of you for your support. Keep supporting. Thank you.